Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for our Virgos, okay? So Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It really doesn't matter, love. If you in any way at all identify as a Virgo, then this reading is for you, all right? Virgo, let us go ahead and jump straight into it, y'all. Let us see what the messages are that Spirit has here for you on today. Now, keep in mind, guys, that this is a general once again, so it may not resonate with each and every one of the Virgos out there. And that's okay, all right? If this is not your reading, just go and check out another one of the readings that I have here on the channel, okay? You can also book a personal one-on-one -on -one reading with me, which you can find that information in the description box beneath this video, okay? So, Virgo, let us go ahead and jump into it, see what the messages are. That spirit has here for you on today. All right. For our Virgos. Thank you, spirit. Okay. So we have the Knight of Cups. Okay. So the Knight of Cups is a message of love. I feel like there's a message of love arriving that you guys have been expecting. All right. Um, there's a cycle completing in your life. Okay. So you guys have been looking forward to receiving this so that you can complete this cycle. Okay. Um, let us see here. Very interesting way to start for our Virgos. What are the messages? We have the three of cups. Okay. So this could be a friend. Okay, or a third party. We have the seven of pinnacles, once again, waiting, and we have the king of wands. Okay, so once again, all right, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone that maybe you're waiting on, a message to receive from a fire sign. Okay, um, we have the page of swords. So some of you are on the lookout for this. Yeah, look out for communication. Okay, you're expecting communication to come in about something or concerning something or something like that. All right, let us see here for our Virgos, we have the Queen of Cups. Okay, so hmm, because I feel like you love someone. Someone, okay, someone loves you or they have deeper feelings for you than they let on. Okay, but the reason for that is because they don't want to be rejected by you. Four of Cups. Okay, they feel like you guys are equals. Six of Pentacles, they want to give and take with you equally. Yeah, wow, Ace of Pentacles, they want to make an offer. So either they want to propose to you. Okay. Or they have a gift for you. But it really feels like a proposal because this is my engagement ring as a reader. And their biggest fear is that you're going to reject them. So this is like the only reason this person has not popped the question yet. Um, but with the King of Cups here, they love you with their entire being, their entire heart and soul. Yeah, Ace of Cups. They just want to know if you guys can start over. All right, I just keep hearing that. That Beyonce song. And you know how she says it, okay? If you ever heard that song, you know how intensely she said it, where she meant that with her entire being, that is what this person wants. They want to start over and give love a try. They, uh, there's someone who's in deep remorse or regret over not having loved you or not having given you love or something like that. That's what I just heard. We have the eight of wands here. So like I said, communication, all right, back and forth. This could be... Um, telepathic communication spirit says as well okay could be a lot of that going on right now but we have the star card okay so someone has been enlightened to some truth some truth about you some truth about the connection okay i'm hearing something about birth charts so somebody could have looked at your birth chart their birth chart and compared them and like okay this person is a part of my destiny or something like that you get what i'm saying um that's kind of what is given all right so let us see here for our virgos we have temperance all right so Mm, I just heard um, God send me an angel. You get what I'm saying? To heal my broken heart, right? From being in love. So this person, somebody's heart is broken because you're their wish fulfillment. You're their heart's greatest desires. And the five of wands is like they fought you off at every which turn instead of cooperating or working with you. Three of pentacles. Okay. So that's what I'm getting here. And then we this is Sagittarian energy. So this person could be a Saggy. Okay. The 14 could be significant. In some way that could be the day they were born okay like 12 14 or they could have 14 in, in their date somewhere all right let us see that could be the date when you guys were born something 14th all right let's see 9 14 maybe okay but we have the nine of swords okay so being in despair okay 
This person thinks about you all the time. Like, that's all they do. They watch you as well. So it's like they think about you, then they watch you and see that you're living and thriving and doing well. So they think about you even more. You get what I'm saying? And this person is at a distance from you. For some of you, this could be your divine counterpart with the emperor energy coming out here. Okay, but once again, this person feels like you're going to reject them. Now, I don't know what's taking place here, okay, um, because we haven't seen any of that. But we're just seeing what spirit has given us, and this is what we got so far. So, once again, you're this person's heart's uh, desire, uh, wish fulfillment. Hierophant, they feel like they should be with you, like you're the one that they should marry. Okay, once again, divine counterpart energy here, Hierophant and the lovers, okay. So, someone could have possibly... Um, like I said, Five of Wands, it's like they just, they didn't recognize what they had in you or something. I don't know. We have the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, they want a brand new beginning for sure. Fresh start in love. Fresh start in the physical. They don't want this just to be something that they fantasize about anymore. Okay. <clears throat> so and with the Five of Pentacles, once again, it's like rejection, abandonment, leaving them in the cold, neglect. Somebody could feel like they're on the outside of your life and they really want a brand new beginning. However, at the same time, they feel like, if they take the wrong move or they or they make a wrong step, then they're just going to, like, <laughs> screw their entire lives up. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is someone who's maybe taking large risks before. They've taken a lot of large risks before, and it didn't go well. So now here they are, like, damn, you know, I want to take this risk. I want to take this chance. But at the same time, what if I fall on my face? That's all they keep thinking about is the what if they fall on their face? What if they fall on their face? What if they fall on their face? As opposed to, you know, seeing, oh, yeah, well, let me go ahead and do this to Virgo or offer this to Virgo and see how it goes. Because Virgo with the Queen of Cups, you love them with your whole being. They love you with their whole being? I did see the King of Cups earlier, did I not? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But if I'm not mistaken, we, when we were shuffling through this reading, we saw the King of Cups. So there's clearly a match here. Okay. You're very loving, empathic, intuitive. They're very loving, empathic, intuitive. You're both two very deep souls. Okay. So I don't know. Let us see. The Knight of Cups here. The page of cups yeah okay so they want to reconcile they want a brand new beginning they want to know if you can move forward they want to know if you know instead of fighting you if they can fight for you they want to know um you know can they can they hold on to you this person feels a little bit stingy and selfish when it comes to you okay honestly like you might be trying to move forward and they're like wait a minute because i just want this ten of cups with you i want this happily ever after with you they're drawn to you uh, queen of wands so they are willing to put the work in but a lot of them feel like they would have to ten of wands at this point in order to get the ten of cups and do you understand how burdensome the ten of wands is so a lot of them are like do i even have what it takes in me to give the virgo that ten of wands to get to that ten of cups do i you get what i'm saying it's a big question so we have the queen of cups here the nine of cups so you will be their wish fulfillment having a new beginning with you they find you to be very beautiful. Um, they're drawn to you like a magnet, guys. Two magnets together. That's, I don't know if you guys are drawn to them like that, but that's what Spirit showed me. Two magnets being, you know, coming together like this. Okay, so. They could be your heart's desires too. I don't know. Maybe, right? But for some of you, maybe not. Maybe you've already moved on with that Wheel of Fortune. You get what I'm saying? And that's the thing you've moved on you're already doing other things and this person is trying to like catch up to you in order to appeal to you at this point you know maybe the things they once did don't appeal to you anymore so we have the ace of pentacles okay the strength card okay <clears throat> so they're trying to like work up the nerve basically they're trying to work up the nerve to get themselves to do this. They've wanted to do this for so long, y'all. So long that it's like they waited until it was possibly too late for some of them. And Six of Swords, you already moved on with your life, like I said. You get what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, that's, that's what they want to do. You get what I'm saying? It's, I mean...
temperance they're hoping that something can happen that that spirit can come up with some sort of concoction spirit can make something just something happen in the right time so that they can come and just clear the air and tell you what it is that they feel and tell you what it is that they think but for a lot of you i feel like this person has turned the situation into like you get what i'm saying something karmic mm. I don't know. It's like they want to make things right, but they kind of turn something into something karmic. Or this is like somebody wants to make something right with you, like I said. So you you pick and choose. You know your story better than I do. This is not a personal. All right, but we have the Nine of Swords here. The Six of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, so like I said, what their, their biggest fear for some of them has already come true. And their biggest fear is if it hasn't, um, you moving on with your life, being so focused on building yourself up that you don't think to look back. You don't even take a glimpse to the side, let alone look back. You get what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like for a lot of them, even if they're hoping and praying that it's something they can say and they can do for a lot of you, it's really not because they put you in this three of swords energy and they were in the Knight of pentacles energy where they just took way too long. You get what I'm saying? Um, for a person to feel complete sorrow and heartache. And then someone take their sweet time with coming to rectify it. And then maybe still haven't Virgo. How could you possibly, you know, even glimpse to the side? Like we said earlier, like how. So we have the Ace of Cups here, okay. The King of Cups, once again, they love you with their entire heart and soul. You love them with your entire heart and soul. It's the fact that somebody just waited too long. We have the Six of Wands here, okay? So, yeah, it's like by the time something came to their awareness, and maybe they haven't because the Tower here, yo, honestly, the way that you would think is like, all right, this whole read sounds like the person waited way too long because one plus one is two. We ain't going to try to make it five. You get what I'm saying? That's ridiculous as hell. But what I'm getting here is that with the tower, it's like spirit been telling this person to do something for the longest. Y'all already know how I feel about the tower. It's necessary adjustments needing to be made. In the event you do not, well, spirit is going to force you to be so uncomfortable that you have no choice but to do it. You get what I'm saying? So it's something like that. Yeah, and then fool card. They're going to just take that risk. And lo and behold, you know, Hermit, it's after having been in isolation or after having ghosted for some of you, the sun card, you know, happiness, joy, enlightenment, uh, what do you call it? Answers and solutions and shit, right? Things getting resolved now and shit. So, I don't know. But I just feel overall, you know, it's up to you guys what you want to do. Like I said, for some of you, a lot of you actually, it feels like you guys, the both of you, are each other's heart's desires, okay? Um, however, totally up to you. We got message of forgiveness here. You can forgive the person, let bygones be bygones, or, you know what I'm saying? You can allow your fears to hinder you the way that they've allowed their fears to hinder them thus far. But, I mean, you're being guided to make, obviously, the higher conscious decision, which would be to forgive the person, you know. But as far as if you move forward with them in a romantic way, well, you don't have to do that, okay? That is a free will choice. You do not have to do that. So we have help, all right? Also, feel like for some of you, this person might be in need of your help, okay? Um, what else is old, right? Like Virgos, I swear to God. It's like people are always coming to us for something. We have free message, okay? Um, yeah, so somebody could be in need of your help, okay? Um, when it comes to love, okay, maybe you're here to teach them love or teach them what love is, okay? Yeah, you. You are love, so they're going to learn it through you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. All right, so if this was your reading or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, go ahead and subscribe. Peace and haggerty.